And now, making his way to the ring, please welcome Martin McCauley. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Exhibition Center here in Liverpool, England, live on Sky Sports Facebook and YouTube channels at the Zone, we are set to go with our next JD Next Gen Bout of the Evening. It's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing. We're sponsored by William Hill, StubHub, and JD Sports. Your timekeeper for this contest from Sheffield is Barry Pinder, and the sound of the value of third man in the ring. From Doncaster, ace star referee, Mr. Michael Alexander. And now, ladies and gentlemen, eight rounds of boxing scheduled in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, by the other red corner, standing with his head trainer, Alfredo Arrebala. He wears red trunks. He scaled 18 stone, 4 pounds, 12 ounces. This 2012 Olympian captured gold in 2010 and 2011 at the Pan American Games. As a professional, his record stands at 11 wins, 4 defeats, 2 draws, and 7 wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando de Guayaquil, Ecuador. Damas y caballeros, Italo Pereira. Perea. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner. He's standing with his head trainer, Billy Nelson, and he wears it yellow and black. He scaled 18 stone, 10 pounds, 6 ounces. His professional record, 12 victories, only one defeat. He has nine big wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Airdrie, Scotland, by way of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Please welcome the hard-hitting and exciting Congolese Prince Martin Bacoli. Bacoli. Right, lads, you both know the rules, so let's just have a good, clean fight, okay? Most of all, remember to defend yourselves at all times, all right? Just close. So eight rounds at heavyweight, Martin Bacoli in the yellow and black, and Italo Perea in the black and white. This uh, matchroom debut for Martin Bacoli, a recent signing. And it'll be interesting to see how he goes because he had a good win last time out, took a, a tough fight away in Poland against Marius Vak, and got the victory that he very much needed because the train ran into the buffers a bit last October at York Hall when he was put in with Michael Hunter. And Hunter was seen as a good, good name to get on Bacoli's record because he'd been, he'd been 12 rounds with Alexander Rusik for the WBO Cruiserweight title. He was an Olympian and recognised as, and rightly so, a good fighter, but he was giving away a lot of size and weight to Bacoli. But it was Hunter who got the win. And Bacoli, at one point, did want to pull out. Billy Nelson pushed him back out there. Big right hand there, though, from Bacoli. <laughs> Puts Pereira down, and I'm not sure he's going to make it, Enzo. No, it's a cracking shot, you know, just about to say about how Bacoli redeemed himself against Wack last time out. 
Um, he just took control. I think it was a, I think it was a left hook actually, Andy. Uh, cracking shot. He doesn't look. <laughs> he doesn't look like he should be allowed to continue. To be honest. No, he's just trying to cover up now. Michael Alexander jumps in straight away, and as you say, I think he was maybe a little bit undecided as to whether he should let that go on. And as soon as he saw the state of play there, he was just standing stock still, unable to do anything really. Yeah, he then did. He did intervene. Yeah, it was good. Good shot. He finished him. He hit him with that double left hook, and um, you know we we can't. We can't tell. We can't tell too much off that. And um, you know, he come out. He done the job. Um, you know, there's a there's a big influx of heavyweights at the moment. The matchroom. So some some interesting fights to be made for Martin McCauley. Well, absolutely. They've been signing them at a pace over the last few weeks. Really, Murat Gassiev has won a while back. He was supposed to make his debut a week or so ago. Was unable to due to injury. Michael Hunter joined the team fairly recently too. Huey Fury, of course, a very recent addition. So plenty going on in the heavyweight division. And Bacoli, a welcome addition to the stable. Billy Nelson all smiles, he's believing him right from the start. Ladies and gentlemen, remember Michael Alexander across the hall to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and 20 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the first round of the stoppage, one minute and 20 seconds of the round number 11, the winner by RSC, Airdrie Scotland, Martin Bacoli. Well, let's have a look at exactly how it happened. Good long jab. And you're right, it was the left hand off the back of that right hand, the right hand kind of around the temple area, then he stuck the left hand off the back of it, which clipped his chin and, and down he went. Good combination. Yeah, he, he just said that'd be nice and relaxed. Jab, little left uppercut, right, right down, tap the shot, drew him on the left up, cracking shot. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited about Martin McCauley, so I've had to put up with Billy Nelson for the last couple of years, bragging him up to me how good he is, but I have seen him sparring, I have seen him in action, and he's good, but he needs to step up and he needs to perform under the lights now. Well, he's done plenty of sparring with Anthony Joshua, and Billy's never been slow to, to bang the drum for his man, as, as all good trainers should, and the pair of them now. Quite an odd couple down rigside with Andy Scott. So Martin McCauley just having a chat there with Eddie Hearn, Billy Nelson too, and they'll have a plan, I'm sure, that 